together before this video just for you okay so i filmed this one time before and i really wasn't feeling feeling it so i'm gonna fill it again okay so i've been home for like the last three days and i was like you know what I literally had such a horrible time packing all my stuff because I realized just how much stuff I did not need. I just finished my freshman year at Ball State University. I will be a sophomore in the fall, so I feel more than qualified to talk about this video. The first thing on my list, oh, and all of this stuff doesn't apply to me like directly. It's just from things that I've heard from my friends and things that I've experienced myself. So, I'm looking this way because this is where my, my notes and my list of stuff is. So the first thing that you are not going to really need for school is a TV. And you might be looking at me like I'm crazy, but girl or boy, hear me out. My roommate brought a TV. I never really watch TV personally because I'm always a busy person. I never really have time to just be sitting down trying to watch some shows on whatever. So like she brought a TV and it ended up falling down and breaking whatever. We didn't use a TV for the rest of the year. We weren't even struggling and you don't know why because we had our laptops I just feel like these days all you really do is stream everything's available online you're watching things constantly on your phone everything's mobile now I just feel like a TV really isn't necessary and with you being in college you have so much limited space in your dorm you're not gonna have no room for a TV boo-boo and you ain't even gonna be using the TV because you ain't gonna be in the dorm. I don't even think I looked at a TV this year. Another thing that you really don't need to bring to school is a bunch of out of season clothes. Now, if you're like going to school here in Indiana like I am, and you're from California, that's a long drive. You probably have no choice but to bring all of your wardrobe because Indiana has all four seasons in one day. Like you gotta be, pre be prepared for anything. But if you're going in somewhere where the climate is pretty consistent, then you're really not gonna need to bring things like winter clothes or anything like that. If you're within driving distance to your house, um, then you really could just bring what's in season at the moment or in a couple of clothes that are out of season just because weather is inconsistent you never really know what comes your way it could be rain in one day then snow in the next day at least in indiana so speaking of the clothes you bring do not bring all of your high school t-shirts or any t-shirts that you really acquired throughout the last 12 years of your life i wasted so much drawer space like my drawers were filled to the top to the brim guys because i brought so many of my t-shirts from high school and the stuff that i've had in the past and i did not touch those things once i'm the kind of person that wears t-shirts to bed and i wear the same four t-shirts to bed and then i have like specific t-shirts that i use like for my hair when i get out the shower but other than that all the other t-shirts that i had were basically just sitting there collecting or not collecting but just taking up space that I could be using for something else i guess then something else that you really don't need are accessories but i have friends that brought their whole entire jewelry sets and like the jewelry organization storage stuff and they didn't wear jewelry at all and i'm just like girl why did you bring all that stuff and you didn't even touch it you could have like used that for space for something else limit how much accessories you bring because you're really not going to need all of them something else that i'm really guilty of is bringing way too many dishes and i don't know why because i don't like to cook i have a bit, pretty big collection of mugs from starbucks from target from walmart water bottles i have a lot of that stuff y'all and i brought all of them thinking that i'm going to you know try to stunt with my water bottle and my mug on instagram and take pictures and I didn't do I didn't do any of that I just ended up having a bunch of mugs and cups and dishes and stuff just sitting collecting dust in my room that I really didn't need all you really need are like two bowls two forks two knives two spoons and like the actual like reusable the ones that you could be rewashed because you trust me you're gonna need them don't I, I ain't gonna tell you why until I make my things you need for school video but trust me when I say you only need like two of each oh and two plates because there have been times where I don't have no plastic plates I don't have no transportation to get to go get some plastic plates so them ceramic plates or plastic plate um plastic <sighs> Dang, look, there's two. The styrofoam, okay, when I say plastic plates, I mean like actual plastic, like plastic cup plates. When I mean like other kind of plates, I'm gonna say styrofoam plates, but I ain't talking about those. When I ran out of styrofoam plates, I ended up resulting to use uh, my 
plastic plates and I didn't have none I forgot them bring maybe two travel mugs uh, three at the most because sometimes I forget to wash my travel mugs um, you're gonna need two bowls like I said two of the other stuff and that should really suffice you don't need all the other stuff I don't know why I brought all of it something else that I really suggest you guys not bring is all of your makeup limit the makeup because I honestly got to the point in the semester where I didn't even wear makeup at all I would just go like put on some sweats and go to class and not even worry about trying to put makeup on because it's just too much and when you got nine o'clock classes your main focus ain't trying to put makeup on it's just like your main focus is trying to get as much sleep as possible and still make it to your class on time that was my focus at least. I wasn't worried about all that. But I ended up bringing so much makeup and I barely ever went out. The only time I wore makeup was when I would have to either go to some type of interview, go to some type of professional setting, or um, when I did like news broadcasts and stuff like that. that oh, high school memorabilia. You don't need to bring your high school trophies, your favorite high school like all your favorite high school t-shirts and stuff like i said you don't need to bring all that stuff nobody wears like nobody's repping their high school when they go to college like i got some really nice high school apparel now don't don't, don't get me wrong because my high school was popping when it came to the apparel okay like dry fit material um really cute t-shirts popping hoodies all that but i mean i wore it personally but i didn't always wear it when i went out only when I wanted to wear sweats and I had nothing else. Probably could have saved like $50 on are buying a whole bunch of notebooks, a whole bunch of binders, pencils, erasers, and all the other school supplies that I had for like kindergarten through high school. And when I got to college, I ain't touched none of it. Okay, that's not true. I touched some of it. But when I tell you that the laptop that I talked about at the beginning of this video came in handy, when you go to college, it's 2018. So all everybody is using nowadays is electronics. You will probably only need three notebooks, and that's just to have some extra. You probably will need a pack of pencils, maybe one pack of loose leaf paper. You probably won't need printer paper because most schools like provide that stuff. Maybe a, a one eraser, like a single eraser. And then a really nice calculator. That's really all you're going to need. Don't waste your money. Save that money you got from your open house and put it towards something else. Because you honestly, I honestly did not use all those supplies. And I'm so mad because when it came time to pack all my stuff up and go, I literally had so many unused, like, unused school supplies. But I guess it's okay because now I'm not going to really have to buy many school supplies for the next year. I don't really have to many purses because I like to kind of like not wear purses um, I just like kind of carry my wallet my like a single clutch in my hand but something that I noticed is that some of my friends she had like this whole little stand of purses and she really only brought the same purse you probably only need two purses and that's a black purse and a brown purse and I mean size may vary according to what you like but you honestly only need two purses it's really unnecessary you don't be doing nothing at all anyways thank you so much for watching this video I really appreciate it. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because it makes me happy and the family is steadily growing, which is crazy because you guys kind of all came at one time and out of nowhere. Go follow me on all my social media because as usual, it's listed in the description box below. In the comment section below, make sure you tell me whether you're like your grade in school, tell me whether you're like a high school senior, coming incoming freshman. If you guys have any questions on things that you think that that you want to bring but aren't sure about let me know because i can help you guys like literally my job at school is to basically help people's issues and answer their questions so i can answer your questions for you i'm gonna be there for you i'm gonna be by your side i'm gonna be there forever and i'm gonna go bye bye now because now i'm just rambling and you don't need to hear me ramble so peace out <laughs>